Today's sports figure tutorial is entitled Accidental Exposure of Private GraphQL Fields. The lab contains an access control vulnerability that reveals user credentials. In order to solve the lab, we must log in as the administrator and delete the user Carlos. Open Burp Suite, go to Proxy, Intercept and click Open Browser. First off, open the lab and browse through the website. Back in Burp, go to Proxy, HTTP History, to see what requests the website made to the server. We quickly find the request to a GraphQL endpoint. Right-click in the request window and copy the URL. First, we are going to solve the lab by GraphQL, a Chrome extension. Paste the URL we just copied and the extension will interrogate the schema for you and display a list of operations. Let's start with the query operations and see if there's anything interesting there. First off, we have get all blog posts. Let's request the ID, title and author. Click shift space to get suggestions. This does not give us a lot of information. Next, try the get blog post operation. This takes the variable ID. We have a blog post with the ID 5, so let's use that. Again, the only interesting thing here could be the author, but it's a dead end. The only thing left is get user, which also takes an ID variable. We know this ID is an integer, so we will try sequential numbers like before and cross our fingers. Try ID 1. The fields we can interrogate are ID, username and password. Let's return the username and the password of this user. Luckily, we get the administrator from the first try. If you change the ID to 2, we find another user, winner, with the password of Peter. We've practically solved the lab at this point, but let's keep going for a second and look at the mutation example. We have an operation called login. This takes a variable called input and returns two fields, a token and a success boolean. The input variable contains two strings, a username and a password. If we try test and test, we get a success value of false, so presumably the user does not exist. If we try a real user, winner, with the password Peter, whom we found earlier, we get a success value of true. This could potentially be used to brute force passwords. This, however, is outside of the scope of this lab. Now, we already found the administrator's password, but let's also find it using Burp's SynQL extension. Return to Burp, go to the Extensions tab, BAPP Store tab, search for InQL and click Install. After it installs, go to the Install tab and make sure the extension is activated. As we can see, we now have some new tabs. The InQL Timer tab will log any GraphQL endpoints it finds while we browse the website. Make sure the Start button is pressed. Now go back to the browser and click through the website again. As you can see, InQL found some GraphQL endpoints. Select one of them, right-click in the request window and copy the URL. Go to the InQL scanner tab and paste the URL. The extension will interrogate the schema for us and return a tree-like structure that contains the queries and mutations it finds. This time, we know the query we are interested in is get user. Right click on it and send to repeater. In repeater, go to the InQL tab to see the query and modify it. If we send it as is, we get a null response, presumably because the username with the ID 1334 does not exist. Change the ID to 2 to find the user winner and then to 1 to find the administrator's password and username. Copy the credentials, go back to the lab, log in and delete the user Carlos. This solves the lab. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Bye!